Good morning. We are coming at Baltimore. We're currently in the Baltimore rental car place with this kind of interesting uh, art. Yeah, it's one of those cheapo flights. We're, we're here for like 36 hours. We've gone round trip airfare for like 40 bucks. So figured why not? Yeah, so we're gonna show you everything that we do, places that we eat, uh, places that we drink, and things that we do. So since we uh, had a very early flight again, and we're headed to Six Flags America, we decided to get breakfast. We stopped at the breakfast shop, which apparently has been on Food Network. Did not know that whenever I uh, found the place. Uh, so let's check it out. So our food has arrived. I got the uh, chicken biscuit benedict. So there's a biscuit chicken and then the egg and hollandaise sauce with potatoes. And then you went more lunch style. You got a uh, Monte, Monte, Monte Cristo. Yeah. So kind of lunch breakfast. Uh, and big, very big. It is very big. And it's on uh, pretzel bread, I think, yep. right? Yeah. Uh, this place is locally owned, so it looks delicious. So one of our main reasons for going to Baltimore is coming to Six Flags America. So here we are. And strange thing that I found, when you're on the Star Flyer, the Wonder Woman themed Lassel of Truth, it plays pop music. Like lady pop music. So we were riding to Toxic. Not a uh, DC like a uh, music that you'd think. But Molly approved. I did. So they have a pub here at Six Flags, and I really love this uh, mural artwork on it, the building. So the cutest sign here at Six Flags America goes to the Raging Cajun. I love the smiling crocodile right there. Alligator, probably, since we're supposed to be in New Orleans. And that's in front of the spinning coaster, which is a decent ride. We did get a lot of spins. Now, next to that is a bar called The Hurricane. And Hurricanes is a very well-themed bar that makes you feel like you're directly on Bourbon Street. And they even have beats hanging from the balcony. It's great. So we spent about five hours at Six Flags America. It was a fun day. There was like no lines. Mm -hmm. It was cold. It was very cold. And there were some really good rides. Like I loved uh, uh, Superman. Yeah, Superman's Superman, really Wild ride. One, Joker's Jinx, all really fun. Yes. Now, uh, I'm not a fan of the wild. Oh, no, not the wild thing. Uh, Batwing. Oh, no, not a fan of that one. But overall, uh, a pretty good day. Yeah, we haven't been here in a while. They've definitely made a lot of improvements to the parks in the past 10 years or so. So if you happen to be in the area, it might be worth a stop. Yeah, it's about 45 minutes out of outside of Baltimore. Okay, we are at our next stop with this view. Um, we are at the Sagamore Spirit, uh, Spirit Distillery. It's a beautiful looking facility. Oh, like it is. Over. It is very, very nice. Uh, so let's go have some whiskey. So we just got done with the tasting. It was $10 per person. And you get five samples. You got five samples. Uh, they do rotate. They do three of their cores and then two that they rotate in and out. They and all... It's expensive whiskey too. Like some of those bottles, you're getting samples of like $70, $80 whiskeys. Mm -hmm. And then they also have a bar. A beautiful bar. And uh, we got a raspberry Yes, cocktail. a raspberry smash that had like raspberry preserves as one of the ingredients. It was amazing. This seems like something they would sell and make a ton of money at like a Knott's Berry Farm. Definitely recommend. So here at the Smokestack, we are at the Diming Back Brewing Company. So they were closing up, so we got two beers here. We got the Sun Goes Down, which, which is an IPA Kolsch. Which is a weird combination. Yes. Tastes and a little weird. And then we got the Transatlantic. It's a nice light beer. That's really, really good. Yes, that is. And then as we're sitting here drinking them, you can actually oversee the brewery, which is really awesome. So for dinner, we are eating at a Taco Fiesta. Okay, so we got three tacos here. We got a skirt steak, Mexican style. Uh, we got two of those. And then we got the gringo style pork. 
taco. Yeah, really cool how you get to choose like your style of taco. Yes. So we are headed to a bar called the Elk Room. It is a speakeasy. It does have uh, an elk door and the Elk Room. So the Elk Room had pretty cool drinks. Yeah, it was expensive drinks. They were $16 a cocktail, but they tasted like a $16 cocktail. Like you definitely feel like you got your money's worth there. Yes, uh, the menu right now is like like video much, game like, like 80s themed. Nintendo game uh, some Final Fantasy stuff too but yes I love the design of my drink yeah you have a really fancy drink I like the taste of mine better but mine felt like a fancy tiki bar drink yes and the chandeliers were really cool the elk behind the bar it's very much a fancy date night spot so sadly the bar that we decided to go to was closed so we went to Emerald's Cup that had which I liked yeah it had a uh, 2000s and uh, 1990s uh, pop alternative music playing. Yeah, good times. They had a good selection of beer. Craft beers. Craft beers. Some, that we some got. beers we've never had. So. Yeah, so it was a good time. So during our stay here in Baltimore, we stayed at the Riot, Hyatt Regency in the Inner Harbor. And it's a really big room. Gigantic room. With a gorgeous view outside. This is a much nicer hotel than we normally stay at, but actually it was pretty, not a bad deal. At $107 and that includes parking and $20 breakfast credit. Yeah, and the room is, like I said, very, very giant. So I would highly recommend staying here. Uh, you are in the tourist area, so you can walk to a few destinations. And the hotel has a glass elevator. As we said earlier, we did get a $20 credit for breakfast. It is in the Marketplace, which is sponsored by Starbucks. So they have a few sandwich ideas. So these are our breakfast sandwiches. Good morning, Baltimore. We left the hotel and walking the Inner Harbor. And this ship right here definitely looks like a pirate ship. It was the last sail-only warship. It's very cool. It looks like something that Jack Sparrow would fight. Oh, definitely. One activity here is uh, ridding this sea dragon. Yeah, definitely not something they run when it's 40 degrees out, but uh, on a nice day, that's quite the... It would be really hard to paddle that thing, though. And there's a whole bunch of them. Since we are visiting in 2021, right now one activity that is also closed is the World Trade Center, top of the world. You can take an elevator and go all the way up to the top. You're supposed to get a really good view of Baltimore from the top, but it is close. If you don't want to ride in a sea dragon, you could also go with a pirate ship. So we're going to start off today visiting the National Aquarium, one of the reasons why we came to Baltimore. Look at this guy right here as he goes into the light. His flippers are so cool. And uh, it is very well themed in here as well. So there's many different sections here at the National Aquarium. We are in the Amazon section with giant fish. So this is a giant South American river turtle. And he's massive. Look at the cool paws. So the building is multi different levels that you keep going around escalators that overlap each other. So it's kind of a cool design. So I feel like this is more your classic uh, feel to aquarium where there's giant fish tanks all around you while you walk up and down a ramp. So we're in the shark area now and this is a sawfish. So in the center of the aquarium, we have this giant beautiful tank that goes all around. And then you have escalators leading up to different floors. So you can see this tank from above, below, and at this level. So they do have dolphins. We are at the underwater viewing area with this one. It's swimming really, really fast. 
It's a big tank, very deep tank. Oh, look at him. He's got a hoop. He does. It's a giant, giant tank, so very deep. So that's good. So right by the aquarium, we have a Hard Rock Cafe. It's one of the cooler Hard Rock Cafes. I believe this used to be the old power plant way back when. And for me, I know this building because this was home to the Six Flags Power Plant, a very short-lived indoor theme park in, I believe, the 80s. I think it only lasted for a year or two. Um, there's not even a lot of pictures of it online. There are some fascinating articles if you want to research it, but uh, yeah, interesting history in this building. Yeah. So we entered a candy shop here, and I love this. Salad board, a giant bowl of gummy worms while she's we wearing a ring pop, and <laughs> looking happy, and then another picture of salad. <laughs> and then the name of the store, it's sugar. You know you want it. You don't win friends with salad. No. So I love this building and the architect of it. Um, we are here at Druid Lake Park. And this is the Botanical Gardens uh, Conservatory. And I love that building. It's beautiful. And of course, we always visit the zoo when we're in new places. The zoo has polar bears. Look at him. He's so cute. So something I don't think I've ever seen in a zoo before. So we have this, this deer right here. It looks like just a normal like white-tailed deer. Yeah, just a normal deer. Very cute, wet nose, but his habitat is paired up with the elephants. He can go in and underneath this fence, and in the distance, far from us, there's an elephant. But this deer here can fit underneath this fence and go between this habitat and visit his friend, the elephant. So they have a lot of penguins. Look at that one go out through the door. So cute, but so many penguins. We're here during the soon to be feeding time. It's about 15, 20 minutes until feeding time. But they have a massive habitat here. Oh, look at that. So many penguins and they're swimming. All getting ready for feeding time. So as we're here on a Monday, there's a couple things that are closed, but I did want to see. Um, this is Edgar Allan Poe's house. Uh, he did live here for a while. You can tour his house. Uh, unfortunately, it is closed right now. But that is one of the attractions here. We did try to go to the famous saloon yesterday in Fells Point while we were walking around that he was apparently last seen alive in. However, it was closed, so we ended up going to Admiral's Cup instead. But that's his house. So we don't have that much longer before we have to be at the airport, so we're gonna check out another brewing company, the Checkered Spot. So we got beef jerky that they marinate in beer. Yeah. Yeah, very interesting. And then I got a cranberry sour. And I got a tiny Belgian quad. Yes. Is it good? You can definitely taste the 11%. Uh, mine's really good with the cranberry sour. So we're here on hour 33 in Baltimore and we're grabbing our last dinner. Over by the airport. Over by the airport at Glory Days Grills. So we got our food here. I got a buttermilk chicken sandwich with buffalo sauce, which looks really, uh, actually pretty massive. And then you got a... a Philly cheesesteak. Philly cheesesteak. But I like it. It's got like a Philly cheesesteak holder. Yeah, that's great. And they got a nice uh, local beer selection as yes, well. Yes, we're drinking two beers from Maryland. And that will do it for our 36 hours in Baltimore. It was that's kind of a whirlwind. Yes, it was very short time. We definitely... Sadly, didn't do everything I wanted to do, but we were there on a Monday in the global pandemic, so things were closed that I wanted to do, but I enjoyed it. I was actually very impressed with the zoo. No one really talked about the zoo. No, and I mean, it's a very small zoo, but everything they have is pretty good quality. Yes. And they have prairie dogs and penguins and polar bears. And of course, the National Aquarium was really nice. Yeah, and... I love that. The giant reef tank. Kind of a cool design. Mm -hmm. And then that distillery. Distillery might have been my favorite part of the trip. 
yes. not too shocking, but that distillery was really cool. And they change out their whiskeys, so there's a reason for you to go back on your next visit. Yes. So it was a great time, and hopefully we'll visit Baltimore and see more things next time.